Good morning. Have you ever run in a race before? Right now, we are all in training for a race. Our worship Bible passage likens faith to a running race. Here's what it says in your NIRV Bible for kids. A huge cloud of witnesses is all around us. So let us throw off everything that stands in our way. Let us throw off any sin that holds on to us so tightly. And let us keep on running the race marked out for us. Let us keep looking to Jesus. He is the one who started this journey of faith. And he is the one who completes the journey of faith. He paid no attention to the shame of the cross. He suffered there because of the joy he was looking forward to. Then he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. When we trust Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we start a race that lasts our whole life long. With any running race, it's really important to get off on a good start. And it's one of the things runners practice over and over again because it makes such a big difference. From now until Easter, we're doing a red letter challenge that's going to get our race off to a great start. And this week's part of the challenge is the key to being strong enough to keep going when the race gets long and it's hard to take another step. It's the key to finishing strong. The key is being with Jesus. The author of Hebrews tells us to keep looking to Jesus. And we're going to make Jesus our race coach throughout the whole Red Letter Challenge. Here's Jesus' coaching instructions that we're gonna practice this week. First, we learn to live in God's word. We spend time reading our Bible every day. We pray earnestly. We worship the Lord. We find out that quiet time with Jesus is needed. We fast to find room for God. We celebrate all that God has done. And we find out that Sabbath rest is God's plan. Jesus is the starting point for our race. He promises to run the whole way with us. And he will be there at our finish line. Another reason to keep our eyes on Jesus is because he is the prize. And when our race is done, we get to take part in an after the race celebration that is better than anything we've ever seen. And the best part is this celebration lasts forever. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you so much that you were willing to suffer and to die for us so we can live with joy in the here and now and then take part in your forever celebration the greatest ever party that is way beyond anything we could ever imagine. Please help us to make being with you our number one priority. Please give us your strength and endurance and help us to run our race with joy as we look to you. You are our prize. We love you. And we look forward to the time when we can celebrate with you forever. And all God's children said, Amen.